welcome to Paint My Sims, where I do what it says on the tin. This episode is focused on the grown-up Hecate from the previous episode. So here's her brother Lucifer and his child now, really quickly. So this is Hecate's birthday, turning from a teenager into an adult and realising her lifelong dream of becoming an actress. And maybe not just because I got the Get Famous pack or whatever it's called, <laughs> probably. I really wanted to try it out and I thought she'd be a perfect example since she's very um, unique looking, shall we say. So I started her off out when she was a teenager. She was like a blogger and she had one of those like flying globe things following her everywhere. And then she like progressed into Hollywood basically. Um, and she finally got her star of fame and she had a whole of family come along. So she meets this very handsome guy in a bar, can't remember his name, and they decide they're gonna get married pretty much straight away. So here's her at a bridal fitting. She sings at her own wedding, of course, because what could be more self-involved than that? <laughs> but that's where she meets Thorn. Uh, so as she's getting married, there's some uh, other feelings perhaps developing for this married man with children. So she carries on with some more acting jobs. She wins some awards. It's just pretty cool. And then at one award ceremony, who should be waiting on the balcony but Thorn Bailey, the father of a child, a married man. Dun dun dun. She gives him a quick snog, and he gives her a snog back. This is crazy times. So she's getting her popularity more. She dumps her previous unnamed husband, carries on with the acting thing, and decides she's really into this Thorn guy. And they're having a lovely affair. They go to this um, retreat place and she proposes to him, but he says no, he will not leave his wife for her, dun dun dun, so much drama. Anyway, this is the most hilarious picture I captured by accident, I didn't realise he was there. <laughs> so she meets his kid once, yeah that was weird, she's still living at home, but she decides that she's gonna go and move in with thorn and her dad's like yeah cool that, that's fine just do what you want with your life and he has the coolest house ever looks out on this amazing view so she's happy living with him and they had this house party where it was freezing <laughs> and loads of people died on the on the driveway and they were all quite like famous stars in the neighborhood so this is where she meets the new grim reaper because obviously her dad is the original grim reaper and uh, he, he gets some feelings for her straight away. She's not married yet. She's uh, with Thorn, living with him, but um, he hasn't asked her yet if she'll marry him and their relationship's getting a bit rocky, which is where these uh, pictures come from. I love this interaction, it's so funny. It's like make out in the rain and they argue and it's, it's very melodramatic. But he finally asks her to marry him and she's like, yes, finally, a lovely shiny piece of jewelry to say that I've bagged this this shiny man. So they start throwing crazy parties. It's always the weirdest costumes. She's talking to the people who accidentally died on her driveway. Yeah. Um, so here they are, the king and queen, the A-listers, shall we say. And this is their wedding, where she looks very ridiculous with really long straight hair. Uh, she has her mum round uh, for a party one time. And they are basically, yeah, they're, they're the top of the bunch. Uh, they're crazy parties that they're always throwing with her blue hair. Yeah, she's just kind of gone a bit off the rails, to be honest, with her fashion choices. This was one of the best jobs she has because it basically looks like The Sims Game of Thrones. And I was loving it because I was watching Game of Thrones at the same time. <laughs> So she starts hanging out with her family a little bit more instead of just A-lifters. A-lifters and in the meantime, <gasps> Thorn might be getting back with his ex-wife and she's like, Mom, please help me, teach me what's normal again. So she's having them around for dinner a lot and they start throwing around their opinions like, yeah, we don't think he's quite the man for you because dun dun dun, in the background, there he is, getting papped with his ex-wife at Octavia. Obviously Hackett's not very happy about this getting quite sad but arguing quite a lot but they're still together for the papers she wins one of the biggest awards that you can get but Octavia's still there she's in the background she's like I know you're messing with my husband so she does a bit of a Britney and dyes her hair completely black and everything's going to absolute crap in the meantime and she's looking out over the view and thinks is this the life I really want to be leading 
where I can't walk around without being spotted. She says, that's it, I've had enough, I'm leaving you. And she decides that it might have been a great house, it might have been a great life, but she goes to live in a trailer park and he's like, please come back, be the wife I want you to be. But no, she's had enough now. So she does her last job where she's playing a doctor and she comes out of the lot and thinks, I've had enough of this. So she moves back home and she says to her family, hey guys, I decided I'm gonna go under the radar, I'm not gonna be an actress anymore. So she's still living in the trailer park at this point. This is her new cat to replace her ex-husband. Where did I move her to? Oh my God, what's it called? <laughs> I moved her to Strangerville, that's it. And she met the man out of the EA Arts household who's very fan indeed. And she finally becomes a mum. And then, I didn't even plan this, he literally drowned in the pond outside. I was so sad. She finally had her life together again. But the Grim Reaper comes back and he comforts her because they're friends of old. And finally he moves in with her and it comes full circle. She's living with the Grim Reaper. So here's the finished pictures. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that ridiculous story of Hecate's life. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.